let us understand mercantile models from the customer's perspective. This is also known as the process of purchasing products. Nowadays, customers want best products at cheaper prices that to do at their convenience. That is, by sitting at their home, people want to buy the best products at lower prices. To meet these expectations, that is, buying best products at lower prices, that to do at the convenience of the customer, a business process model is required. Such a business process model consists of three phases. They are pre-purchase phase, purchase phase and post-purchase phase. In this way, there are three phases as part of a business process model. Let us look at these three models one by one. First of all, let us look at a pre-purchase phase. In this one, the very first point is search for required product. Online sellers provide text-based search facility and voice-based search facility with which people can look for the required product. Next, it is selecting the required product. Based on required features, price etc the customers select a required product generally people compare the features and even people check the prices with the different online sellers because the main intention is getting a best product at a cheaper price and next one last point as part of a pre-purchase is negotiations with online seller some customers negotiate with online sellers regarding prices and delivery dates some customers request for discount similarly uh, one problem with online purchases is the item is not delivered instantly uh, the online seller specifies one dispatch date Similarly, online seller specifies the delivery date. So, that is the reason why customers may negotiate with the seller and customers may request for early delivery also. So, they may request the seller to advance the delivery so that they can receive the product at an early date. Similarly, some customers may also request for delivery of the product on a chosen date probably the customer may be having a function at his home so he may request for a delivery of the product on that celebration day maybe birthday or marriage day some function will be there that is the reason why the customer may request for a delivery of the product on a chosen date so this way uh, based on the price and the delivery date, uh, people select the required product. This completes pre-purchase process. Now let us move on to uh, purchase phase. After selecting the uh, required product or maybe several products, the customer proceeds for placing an order. That is, all the items are added to the shopping cart and the shopping cart is a software that counts the number of products and notes the price of each product and calculates the total amount payable. So, after adding all the products, the shopping cart uh, un understands the number of items and price of each product and finally, it even uh, calculates the total amount that is uh, to be paid by the customer. Now, making the payment. A number of electronic payments are available like debit card or credit card or digital wallets, electronic fund transfers or mobile payments. So, using one of these options, uh, customers uh, make the payment. Because the payment is received, the 
online seller delivers the item so the online seller dispatches the product on the as per schedule and similarly delivers the item as per schedule as part of this one uh, delivery partners involved uh, in delivering the product at the fulfillment center and the fulfillment uh, fulfillment center finally door delivers the product this completes purchase phase and last one generally this post purchase uh, phase is uh, not required for uh, all the customers so um, because the item is uh, door delivered if at all the item does not work or if at all the customer not received the uh, ordered product then the customer interacts with the customer care uh, for a product exchange or return the product to get back the amount so in this way the mercantile models from the customer's perspective that is purchasing the products consists of three phases pre-purchase phase purchase phase and post purchase phase so in pre-purchase phase uh, people look for the required product uh, for which they may make use of a text based research facility or voice based research facility and finally they may select the required product based on features and price and uh, some people even negotiate with the seller uh, regarding some discount price discount or they may even request for a change in delivery dates that is about pre-purchase once the product is uh, selected or maybe several products are selected then the customer uh, moves on to placing the order so all the items are added to the cart the cart identifies the names of the products count of the products and price of each product and it even tells us the total amount that is payable um, based on the different types of online payments like debit cards or credit cards or electronic fund transfers digital wallets mobile payments in this way different types of uh, payment models are available using one of them the customer may make the payment because the amount is received the customer i mean the online seller may dispatch the product uh, as per the schedule and uh, uh, as promised the item may be delivered using uh, the logistic service uh, providers so with this the purchase phase completes actually in case of uh, majority of the people uh, the purchasing the products complete here but uh, if at all the customers receive any wrong products or not working products they may require the next phase that is the post purchase phase in this customers interact with the customer care uh, for a product exchange or a product return so that they can get back their amount so this is about mercantile models uh, from customers perspective